and welcome to Zero Consulting YouTube channel. And today we'll have an overview on the proposed finance bill 2023 on what it contains, the key points. One thing is that there's a proposed increase in the turnover tax from the current 1% to 3%. Uh, this also targets an increase in the tax bracket, which was ranging from 1 million and above turnover, and now it will be starting from 500,000 if the bill passes. Also, there's the introduction of the digital asset tax, whereby upon sale of any digital asset, you'll be required to pay 3% of your sale to the KRM. Also, there's the reduction of the rental income tax, whereby it was currently, uh, it's currently at, is at 10%, and it is proposed to be reduced to 7.5%. This is in a bid to try to lower the rental owners into paying taxes. Also, there is also the digital content mon monetization tax, whereby upon creating content and monetizing them, be it in website or YouTube, you will be required to pay a 15% tax on the income you get from your content. Also, there's a waiver on the LPG gas, whereby there is a tax exemption on that on the gases and a 5% tax on all beauty products also as in the pay as you earn that is the payee there's a proposed change whereby anybody earning above five hundred thousand five million is expected to pay 35 percent tax opposed to the current 30 percent yeah also there's the proposed housing bill the three percent whereby you'll be expected to pay three percent of your in monthly income towards the National Housing Fund whereby it will be refundable after seven years if you are not eligible for the housing product. Thank you for watching.